Hey kids, this is my friend Bernie. He's back, but don't worry. Hopefully he'll keep his shirt on. No guarantees. There's a video of that. There's a video of that. I want to talk about for a second about talk about legacy because we just had the death of Steve Jobs, who apparently is a high profile tech guy. Never heard of him. No, no. Never really heard of him. Steve Wozniak, I've heard of. I've heard of Wozniak, yeah. yeah but the Jobs Woz. Jobs never heard of him. The other recent high profile tech death was Dennis Ritchie, who died at the uh, ripe old age of 70. He was well known for being the designer of the C language and a co-creator of the Unix operating system. This makes me think about what we leave behind, especially in creativity. Steve Jobs and Dennis Ritchie both left behind them a shit ton of good work and for the most part made the world a touch better, for the most part. These people weren't perfect, of course. They're fucking humans, just like you and me, but they did a lot. Which brings me to Richard Stallman. Once again, this very intelligent man yeah. who will leave a lot behind. When he's gone, he always has to ruin that by opening his fucking mouth. Being an asshole. And being an asshole. Stallman is my hero. I'm not going to necessarily say what he said was wrong, but the way he said it, he talked kind of like a... Uh, an asshole. An asshole. And I quote, Steve Jobs, the pioneer of the computer as a jail made cool, designed to suffer fools from their freedom, has died. He made a comparison to what Mayor D Harold Washington said of the former mayor, Daly. I'm not glad he's dead, but I'm glad he's gone. I love what <laughs> Stallman's done, and he's he's he has done some awesome stuff. I've said a lot of fucked up shit in my day. But that's that pretty that's fucked that's up. King, man. That's, that's pretty fucked up. He finishes with saying, Unfortunately, that influence continues despite his absence. We can only hope his successors, as they attempt to carry on his legacy, will be less effective. I have bad news, Mr. Stallman, who's probably not watching this because you need Flash to see YouTube videos. No. No. They will not be less effective. Steve Jobs picked the people he picked for reasons. What do you know, Bernie? You're a Windows user. <laughs> so let me know, guys. Um, do you think that... Uh... Bernie should touch himself in the next <laughs> video? <laughs> well, Bernie will touch himself. Do you think Richard Stallman was out of line for saying the fucked up shit that he says? Or do you think it's totally justified? Leave the comments below. Video responses are always welcome. And uh, I will see you guys next week. Peace.